guys. It's not seen here. Now, today, I'm going to be giving you guys a very in-depth look as to why the Apple AirPods Max are the best headphones to date, but also why they're one of Apple's lowest selling products in the year of 2021. Now, before I start, let me tell you a story that happened to me recently. About a week ago, I decided to get a new case because my current leather iPhone case was all worn out. And since COVID was still in effect, there was a very limited amount of people that could be in the Apple store. So I had to wait outside. And while I'm waiting in line, you know, scrolling through Instagram, doing what I had to do on my phone, there's an older gentleman behind me and he basically goes, this line is taking way too long. And I responded, yeah, it is. And from that point on, we were extremely bored and we started talking about, you know, different Apple products that came out in the previous year. And after a while of talking, he then goes, I want to get my grandson those new Apple AirPods. And mind you, he wants the bigger ones, but I'm going to get him the smaller ones because the big ones just cost too damn much. And while I was agreeing with what he said, the idea for this video sparked in my head because I myself have realized that I've never seen a single person this year with a pair of AirPods Max since they came out. And that's a huge problem, especially for a company like Apple. So once I got home, the same exact day, I decided to Google AirPods Max sales. And basically I found an insider report where people were able to comment why they weren't able to get their hands on the AirPods Max. And one guy said they were too great, but too expensive. Another guy said that they aren't a must have. Another guy also said that they were too expensive, etc. And the more and more I just read these replies, the more I understood why the AirPods Max sold for as low as they did. And the first reason is the design. Now, I remember very vividly how much people hated the AirPods Max design when they first came out. They had a very retro look and didn't give off a very cool factor at all. In fact, they really reminded me of those headphones that you would find in Walmart that cost less than $20. The material wasn't anything special and were known to be on the heavier side thanks to the premium materials using these headphones. And also they didn't have any of the Apple branding, so it made them look even more off brand, which is a huge turnoff because see, when people buy Apple products, most wanna show off that they can afford the latest Apple product. And the thing about it is you can't show off your Apple device if no one knows that they're Apple in the first place. Also, the final thing that people hated about the look was the ridiculous bra case that didn't protect the headphones at all resulting in a very unsafe, ugly looking case, which is a formula to make people hate it. Now, the next major reason why I think that Apple really dropped the ball with the AirPods Max was because they didn't even bother to include great functionalities within the headphones. A perfect example of this is how they didn't even bother to include an aux in the box. So if you want any sort of wire connection, you would have to go to the store and pay $35 for a 3.5 millimeter lightning cable. Oh wait, you don't even have an aux jack. So if you are a DJ or anyone who uses your computer with very high quality headphones, then you're really out of luck with this one. And even though it is lightning cable, it is also bad considering the fact that every other company includes an aux with their headphones. So it makes Apple look even more ridiculous because this price is insanely high. And most people who will buy high quality headphones use the aux cord with whatever they're doing. So it's just not a good combination. Another example is how they didn't even include any cool features like swiping or tapping to change the song or even gestures that allow you to go into transparency mode. And instead of doing that, they just gave us two simple buttons with very plain functionalities. And because these functionalities were very plain, it also resulted in a very underwhelming product. And now the last example that I have when it comes to the functionality is the most criticized decision that Apple has ever made in their lineup of headphones. And that's not having a power button. Now, most people complained about this because this meant that you could not put your AirPods Max in sleep mode at all. And instead, you had to put them in the case, which was a huge letdown if you didn't have one. And as ridiculous as that sounds, it gets even more ridiculous because you now have to put it in the case for it to go into sleep mode and charge. And it's just a horrible functionality to have. And last but not least, the final reasons why the AirPods Max failed was because of the ridiculous price. Now, the AirPods Max started with a whopping $550 price tag, 
So this basically meant that wherever you lived in the US, you were basically spending $600 on a pair of headphones that were lacking in features. And to give you guys an idea of how ridiculous this price is, I decided to show you a few products that I believe are better and more useful than the AirPods Max at a cheaper or matching price. Number one, the Sony WH-1000XM4s, way better functionality and sound for $350. Bose QuietComfort 45s, better in every category again for $350. Bose 700 headphones, again, better at everything for $350, etc. And I can even go as far and compare these to the iPad Air 4, which has much more functionality, yet they cost exactly the same. And don't be offended, that's a joke, but it just goes to show you how ridiculous the pricing was for these headphones. Every other product that I named in comparison are way better than the AirPods Max and are much cheaper, which means a lot to the average consumer. And these are the various reasons as to why the AirPods Max failed. Apple was charging a price that these headphones could simply not live up to. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I would like to say thank you for sticking around. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It will be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.